Inflammatory bowel disease, unfortunately, is becoming a very common autoimmune condition affecting tens of thousands of people in the US and throughout the world. And the question is, does hyperbaric oxygen help those folks? And if so, how and why does that work? Inflammatory bowel disease, just the way it sounds, is a chronic inflammation inside the intestines, often leading to ulcerations, fissures and fistulas, and, and ultimately damage to that intestinal lining. Does hyperbaric help? The overwhelming majority of studies on hyperbaric oxygen and inflammatory bowel disease show a very overwhelmingly positive effect of hyperbaric for these folks, really helping to heal those ulcers, heal those fissures, and heal those fistulas, reducing the inflammation, normalizing bowel movements, reducing blood, and really helping these patients get back to finding a normal, healthy quality of life. At first, it's hard to understand exactly how hyperbaric might help these folks, but really what we can start to do is we can start to look at other conditions that might be similar to inflammatory bowel disease and understand the research behind that. And one of the things I would compare, let's say ulcerative colitis to, would be something like a non-healing wound. We know that patients, let's say that are bedridden, have these uh, exterior sores on their body. And those sores, especially with you know, compromised circulation or chronic uncontrolled diabetes, they get these wounds that just won't heal on the outside of their body. They're ulceration. And there's a pathology that's very specific for a non-healing wound. And the pathology of an exterior non-healing wound and the pathology of an interior intestinal ulcer are very, very similar. And what happens is these ulcers get stuck in the inflammatory phase of healing. In fact, most injuries that get stuck in the healing phase and become chronic are stuck in that inflammatory phase of healing. And because of the chronic inflammation and the damage to the circulation, two things happen. Number one, we can't get the nutrients into the area to help facilitate and stimulate a healing response. And number two, we can't get rid of the waste products and the inflammation because the circulation can't carry the nourishment in and can't carry the waste products out. And so that tissue just ends up bathing in inflammation. And because it's a low oxygen environment, pathogens, anaerobic bacteria really start to fester in those ulcers, whether it's on the inside of the intestine or the outside on the skin, it becomes a breeding ground for pathogenic bacteria to start taking hold and infect the tissue, which makes the process even harder to deal with. When we start applying hyperbaric oxygen, there's many factors that affect this, but ultimately, number one, those pathogens tend to be anaerobic, meaning they don't like oxygen. So when we start flooding that tissue with a high oxygen environment, all of a sudden we're creating an environment that's not conducive for anaerobic bacteria to live. Number two, those anaerobic bacteria tend to uh, cover themselves in these biofilms and hyperbaric oxygen could start breaking down those biofilms, making the bacteria more susceptible to either the oxygen treatment that we're using or even more susceptible to antibiotics if we need to use them to help clear up the infection. Next, hyperbaric oxygen has an angiogenic effect, meaning that that damaged capillary bed due to the ulceration can start to become remodeled and repaired, and we can start rebuilding capillaries in this area that's become hypoxic to make sure that we can start delivering oxygen to that area. And as we start delivering more oxygen to that area and start carrying away those waste products, we can start lowering the inflammatory cycle in that tissue. If you're liking this information, please click the like button, please subscribe to the channel, and send it to somebody you care about. We're really trying to get this information into the hands of the people who are gonna find it valuable. Long-term use of hyperbaric oxygen, we know stimulates growth factors. It stimulates brain-derived growth factor, it stimulates platelet-derived growth factor, insulin-like growth factor, and so all of these growth factors that get stimulated along with stem cells that we know that get stimulated through long-term use of hyperbaric, start to encourage the healing and the regeneration and new cells moving into that tissue to really become the repair process so that the fibroblasts, the collagen, all the soft tissues in the area can start to heal, can start to regenerate, can start to repair. And ultimately, we can start closing those ulcers, closing those fissures, and really getting that patient to normalize in terms of blood levels in their stool, you know, normalize their frequency of bowel movements and ultimately return that patient back to a high quality of life. The most current studies looking at hyperbaric oxygen with inflammatory bowel disease show anywhere between about an 84 to about an 89% improvement in patients with inflammatory bowel disease with hyperbaric alone. And so especially if we can use hyperbaric along with other modalities, whether that's dietary changes or other 
even natural uh, anti-inflammatory use, uh, red light therapy, hydrogen water. You know, there's so many different pieces and tools that we can put together to help normalize and improve that gut health. And when we start combining those therapies, along with hyperbaric oxygen, we can really start repairing and helping these patients heal. I hope that helps, and we'll see you again next time. Whether you're a chiropractor, or a naturopath, or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now, it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.